Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Man Andrew's Life. On this video, I'm just going to drive you guys through a working class neighborhood here in Cleveland, Ohio. Now, I am currently on the west end of Cleveland, and I just want to show you guys an example of what you can purchase home-wise for what is say one hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Now, in this particular neighborhood, there's been uh, there's been several houses that have went up for sale. Many of them are currently pending. And the average price that you can expect to pay for one of these houses is going to be um, it's going to be seventy-five to eighty-five thousand dollars. So, if you have less than a hundred thousand dollars to spare, and you're in the market to purchase a home here in Cleveland, Ohio, this you know. You can come to a neighborhood like this, which is basically a solid working class neighborhood here on the west end of Cleveland. You can come to this neighborhood and buy one of these houses. Now a lot of these houses are, are smaller and I will say the lot sizes are not bad. Just by looking at the lot sizes, I would guess that many of these lots are going to run maybe 7,000 square feet, give or take. So these lot sizes are not that bad. These are some nice, small, straight to the point houses. So if you're looking to be a homeowner here in Cleveland, Ohio, and you're looking for a neighborhood that's not crime infested to where you can live in the city of Cleveland and be close to all the entertainment and everything else that Cleveland has to offer, you might want to come check out this neighborhood that I'm driving through right now. And right now, I am driving down West 146. I'm driving down uh, Ledgewood. So here in Cleveland, Ohio, uh, if you're on Interstate 90, if you get off at exit 117, I mean, if you get off at the once at the West 117th Street exit. go high the higher and you go high in the street numbers you will approach this neighborhood You're coming uh, let me think here but yeah but yeah this neighborhood is gonna start at West 143rd 
Now, where this neighborhood ends, I'm going to be completely honest. I do not know. All I know is this neighborhood is going to start at West 143rd. And like I and like I said, you can come into this neighborhood and you can grab up one of these nice small houses for less than a hundred thousand dollars. Right now I'm on West 146. street this neighborhood ends. Where street this particular neighborhood ends. I'm gonna say from West 143rd to West 150th will be the neighborhood that I just got out. Will be the neighborhood that I just got out of. So West 143rd to West 150th, you will find this community between those two streets. And for those of you that are, that are not familiar with Cleveland, I mean, I would say on, I would say during normal traffic hours, you can typically get from one side of the city to the next. Like if you're on the far east side of Cleveland, towards East Cleveland, You can get from that area all the way over towards Lake Road, Ohio. And I'm gonna say in 20 minutes tops. I'm gonna say 20 minutes tops. And that's during normal traffic. Now obviously during rush hour traffic it's gonna take a lot longer. But like if you were to take a trip to let's say the far east end of Cleveland to the far west end of Cleveland by Lakewood, you can you can make that trip in less than twenty minutes. there's some cities where if you go from one side of the city to the next it'll take you forever because the city is so spread out now Cleveland is not like that so if you're the type of person that relies on public transportation and you you're looking to live in a, and you're looking to purchase a home in a safe neighborhood. Like I said, I think it's, I think it would be worth your while to do what you gotta do to take a trip out here and check out these areas that I'm driving through right now. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
now close close by to the area I just got out of if you're wanting a if you're wanting to be close to that community and you're wanting a bigger and older home then you can check out this area that I'm driving down right now if, if you're wanting a bigger home But if you're want, if you're looking for something smaller, a little smaller, a little less upkeep, then this area right here is what you're gonna want to look at. I'm back on 143rd, on West 143rd. neighborhood I would say in about I would say once again during normal traffic I would say from this area you can get to down you can get to the heart of downtown Cleveland in about 10 minutes This is just an example of some of your affordable, fairly well-kept, decent neighborhoods that you can buy a house in for less than $100,000.
Now this area, the houses are going to be a little bigger and the uh, prices are going to be a little higher. Now if I had to take a guess, I would say the average housing prices in this particular neighborhood are going to be in the 200s. Anyone that knows more specifically, leave a comment below. Now, for those of you that are into older houses built in the late 1800s into the early 1900s, this is going to be your neighborhood right here. And right now, I am on West 148. Now, I'm going to turn on Antica for a second, and I'm going to drive down uh, Triscuit. I'm gonna drive down. Yeah, this is Trisket. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna turn on Trisket and then I think I'm gonna turn on West 151st. So, for those of you that have a little more than 70 to 80 some grand, maybe you have. A good couple hundred thousand dollars and you're wanting to live in, in, in Cleveland and you're looking for a decent part of Cleveland uh, this is gonna be your area that I'm gonna be driving through right now now some of you might think that, that a couple hundred thousand dollars is way too much money to live in Cleveland but I try, I mean, although I'm not a city person, I try to have an open, when it comes to cities like Cleveland, I try to have an open mind. Because like I said on one of my earlier videos of Cleveland, if, you know, like I said, I mean, Cleveland is one of those cities that will, I mean, like I said on one of my earlier videos, if you choose to move to Cleveland, I mean, Cleveland, at least in my opinion, will give you that Northeast feel. I mean, like if you were to move into a neighborhood like this and let's say Philadelphia uh, this neighborhood I'm driving through right now would most likely be a half a million would most likely be a half a million dollar neighborhood or pretty damn close to that sum down this little court real quick. Looks like some nice houses. But yeah, this type of area in a city, uh, in, a, in, in, a, in, a, in a northeast city, like Philadelphia for an example, I mean this right here would be every bit a half a million dollars, would be every bit a half a million dollar community. As we're here in Cleveland, you can live in many of these communities that I'm driving through for a couple hundred thousand. Definitely less than 250,000 in many of these communities.
Alright folks, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. I think you guys get the idea. So remember, if you like the video, give us some thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, consider doing that. For those of you that have recently subscribed, I appreciate every one of you. And on that note, everybody have a blessed one, and I will see you guys on the next one.